My name's Dave Cruzen, and uh, I'm a drummer. Uh, I've been doing it professionally for about 20 years. Early on, I was really, uh, I have a brother who's 11 years older, so he had a lot of Zeppelin records, um, stuff like that. I remember listening to uh, Aerosmith as a young kid. I really dig them. Uh, Zeppelin, the Rolling Stones were a huge influence. And then from there, like, I was a huge police fan. It was a big influence on me. Um, Kiss. Kiss was a massive influence. I was a big fan of theirs. People just starting out, I would say, you know, um, keep your feet on the ground, you know. Don't, don't get caught up in the, the hoopla of everything. Don't get caught up in the party scene. That doesn't work out well for anybody. It's been my experience. So I would say just keep a level head and, you know, and, um, you know, just if you're enjoying it, do it. If you're, if you're not enjoying it anymore, don't do it. And I've seen, seen that happen too. So and you got to really love doing it to, to be able to put up with the ups and downs. I would say anybody starting out that's, that's touring, um, you know, get a lot of sleep. And uh, you know, don't 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 hang out with the wrong crowd. <laughs> um, and and keep whatever your instrument is, if your voice or you play guitar, you play drums. You know, make sure you you're getting warmed up and and don't uh, you know don't do anything that's gonna to jeopardize you know your instrument. Uh, that I would say has been really actually very cool in the last couple of few years. Um, I've actually gotten a lot of work through Facebook, um, which is great. You know, it's like uh, people will send me music. I have a little studio at my house, so I, I can do stuff there and send it back to them. And don't even have to leave the house. It's it's awesome. And just you know, spreading the word with projects that I'm doing. You know, has been nice and getting people out to shows. So it's it's been a really big plus. Um, yeah, I remember being a kid. I was probably 13 or 14 and a, another <clears throat> friend of mine who was a drummer, his dad took us to see Buddy Rich and it was an amazing, mind-blowing experience. That was really huge. Um, and then there's been so many shows. Uh, First time I saw The Police was amazing. I saw The Who when I was a kid, that was amazing. Uh, but Neil Young and Crazy Horse, I was probably 24, 25, and I, I started to, you know, I'd been doing a lot more music. That was something, seeing that band pretty much, you know, just solidified every idea that I had that it was, you know, I was on the right track and doing something like that I thought was cool. and And they just like, Seeing that band really kind of solidified, like, yeah, this is a great thing, and, and I love doing this, and that's what I want to do, you know. I've been finding new stuff through friends, really. Like, somebody will say, hey, have you heard of this band? Or, you know, they'll be playing something, I'm like, oh, what is that? You know, that, and then also TV, oddly. Uh, but actually, kind of a cool thing, I, you know, because I, I like watching TV. But, you know, I'll hear something and I'll be like, wow, what is that band? And I've actually found bands that, you know, I've, um, either like somebody will know or I'll, you know, Google it up and, sit, you know, track it down. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's been, there's, I think these days, like, I don't know why I used to, I don't remember any music being on TV, like a commercial or anything that, that I thought was cool ever, you know, growing up. But these days there's a lot more. And the other thing is I think just the record business, you know, the whole thing is so, you know, it's just not working anymore. So I think that's an avenue a lot of bands are, are discovering. And so, you know, the people that uh, are placing music in TV or on a commercial or whatever, they're finding cool music to put there and it's like I'm glad they're doing that because it's like it's, you know I'm finding out a lot of new stuff that way. Uh, Mick Jagger seeing him was like that was amazing and he's just like you know 
he's just having fun and just loose and like you know it's like um, you know a lot of people look nervous rightfully so I'm, I'm sure and um, you know maybe they're not they're a little tighter than they would but he just like came out and it's like man that guy is he's having a blast and he's just you know he was amazing um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I would say that was that was the, probably the coolest thing I've seen at the Grammys. Um, what else was great? I'm trying to think, what else is great? I've seen a lot of great performances at the Grammys. That was that was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen though.